So here we are at the first activity. Ladybug walks the width. Our first step is to learn how to get Ladybug to walk. Let's look at what we have here. Ladybug has done zero steps. Here she is at the beginning of the line at A. She wants to walk all the way down here to B. And what we want to know in the end is how long AB is. So first we have to know where Ladybug is. Where is Ladybug on the number line? Well, Ladybug is here, and that's at point A, and A is down here at point zero. Let's check that that's right. Ladybug is here at zero. Where does Ladybug want to go? Well, she wants to go to the red point, and that's at B, and it's between six and eight, so it's at seven. So we think that she wants to go to seven. Let's check. Ladybug wants to go to seven. Let's see if Ladybug can take a step. So we'll click on step. Click, there, Ladybug has moved. She's gone one step to the right towards her destination. Click on step until Ladybug reaches the red point. So we click again. She makes another step, another step, another step, another step, another step, another step. Ladybug has arrived. How many steps? Ladybug steps are seven. We can start again and count again if we want to at any time. We get lost counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ladybug has arrived. So this activity was just getting Ladybug to walk. Now we click on next. In the second activity, Ladybug walks the width. We're going to choose Ladybug's destination. So the first thing we do is move red point B where we want Ladybug to go. So we click, we might have to click twice. And then we can drag B where we want it to go, back and forth. Can't go to the left because we're only counting to the right. So let's say we click it here. So how far does Ladybug have to go? Write down our answer. So we would think about how long AB is, how far Ladybug has to go. We could count spaces. Ladybug has one, two, three, four spaces to move. Or we could count Ladybug steps when we do them. Click st step to count the steps. So one step, Ladybug's moved one. Ladybug moves two, three, four. So from A to B is four steps. So the length of AB is four. And the question is, you have to think about what did you say here, and if you got the wrong answer, why it might be wrong. And you look and you check these things, and it tells you to click here if you didn't get the right answer, and why you shouldn't count this mark. Okay, and then we go on to the next activity, and we'll talk about thinking of an easier way to do this than counting the steps, right? So, Ladybug walks the width. Is it boring to count steps? It is when they get to be a long number of steps. Let's move it way over here. That's a lot of steps to count. So, how far does Ladybug have to go? Write down our answer. So, let's count our steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Long way to walk. How could we calculate this without counting steps or tick marks, both of which is very boring? And you have to think about where B is and where A is. Now, because A starts at zero, we can say that B is the length. 18 steps it took us. Let's see if that works all the time. And that's how you would check things. You can reset it and move B. See if that works. And you can check your lengths. And you can try to find a formula when A starts at zero. Now the next ones are going to move A. Make it a little bit harder. So let's go on to the next one. Here the fourth activity is Ladybug walks the width. And we change Ladybug's starting point too. So we go down here and we click and we drag the starting point. 
where we want it to be, and then the endpoint where we want it to be. So let's see, where are we? Ladybug is starting at four. We can check. Yep, and where is Ladybug ending? At eight, and we can check. And now we can see how many steps. How far do we think Ladybird has to go? We could write down our answer, and then we can check with our steps, right? One step to there, two steps, three steps, four steps. So Ladybug took four steps to get there. So the length of this is four steps. And if you got the wrong answer, you can look and see what it says about the wrong answers. And so then the next step would be to work on a formula for this so that we don't have to count because if Ladybug starts, let's say, here and then goes all the way to the end or even farther, but this one is only set up to go that far, how do we find out how far Ladybug went? So we look at different things and see if we can find a formula for calculating the length of AB if we know that A is at a certain place and B is at another place, right? And the last exercise is kind of summing up everything, making sure that we understood everything. So we would move A and B where we wanted it to be. So here A is at 4 and B is at 7. So if we forgot the formula, it'll help us think about the formula here. And then we can make a table and see that it's exactly right how far we have to go and see that our answer is the length is 7 minus 4 equal to 3. And we can measure lengths without any problem. This has been a demo of Ladybug Walks the Width, learning how to measure lengths. My name is Linda Falberg Stoyanuska, big mouthful there. I created this program using a freeware called Jagerbra. So this program is completely free. You can download it, use it wherever you want to. There's no problems with it. I will give a hot link here, but here is a whole link.